How was your New Year's? What'd you get up to? It was fantastic. We have a, a new baby daughter this year, so she's about almost five months old now. And so it was the first Christmas, first New Year's, and we got to hang out with her. So lots of uh, lots of kid movies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, celebrating your first Christmas with your new daughter, that must have been quite the experience, eh? It's absolutely incredible. I, can't, I don't even have words for it. It was a great, great holiday. You know, as we look back to uh, 2018, Brock, uh, what really stood out for you the most? Oh, man, uh, support. You know, that's, that's probably a big one. It was a... Uh, a uh, debut album came out in 2016, and uh, that was kind of just like a like a lifelong project that I always wanted to do. It was uh, my fiance who really encouraged me to release it, and we had an incredible 2017, and it just took off in 2018. We headlined a lot of festivals, and we ended up having six songs from that radio go to sorry, six songs from that album go to radio, and uh, just tons of support from you guys, especially you. I was. How many times have I seen you in the last two years? And my friend always, <laughs> always have your back. Well, yeah, I saw you. What? CCMAs. Was it the last time? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you guys have it this year. I know. I can't wait. Are you excited? Oh, man. Big family reunion. I know. Exactly. Can't wait for that. Bring us inside the CCMA Awards uh, weekend, uh, Brock. Uh, you know, for those that have never experienced them, what can they look forward to in Calgary? Uh, a big party. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna it's gonna rival the Stampede this year. I think you guys are in for a treat. It is a, a week long of, uh, you know, what's really cool is all the watching all the venues um, really support country music when we when CMA TCMAs come to town. Uh, you know, you have venues, uh, you know, mom and pop shops and, and little pubs that normally never have live music that just embrace it. So you can walk down the street and it's, you know, Nashville North, of course, but this time it'll, it'll really turn into Nashville. You'll be seeing drum kits everywhere and guitars everywhere. And don't fly that week because it'll be guitar cases everywhere. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we were talking about Saskatoon. Uh, you guys held the uh, CCMA Awards a few years back. Radio Row, I think, uh, was uh, the moment that really stood out for me. I mean, we interviewed people, like 30 people in under half an hour. It was crazy, <laughs> but that was cool, yeah. too, so... Yeah, it's super fast, and that's it. that's one of the best things of it. I think so much, you know, is that you get to see all the artists that morning. Everyone's tired. Everyone's got <laughs> timmies, and everyone is just you know ball caps and hoodies on, and just like and just pounding through it. Everyone's got a tight schedule. I have three minutes for you. Go, you know. <laughs> uh, Brock Andrews joining CJWE. Brock, of course, uh, you were just talking about your album mate. Uh, you launched it a few short years ago. How have you grown as an artist uh, since then? Oh, man. Uh, well, prior to that, I, I had only really played a couple of shows with the band. And I think last year we did north of 40 shows. You know, we're just blessed with everybody who partners with us. We take a, a lot of pride in any time we get brought onto a festival or a cabaret and making sure we do our part to be in partnership with that venue. And we've had a lot of support in Western Canada especially. So just in terms of entertainers and, and really focusing in on what the crowd wants and really owning our skills on stage so that everyone gets their money's worth. I mean, the bottom line is if you come to one of our theater shows where you could be doing anything on that Friday, Saturday night, and you're spending it with us, and we want to make sure that you're spending your hard-earned money for a good reason. That's awesome. Have some fun. You know, you have a new song out, uh, which we'll get to in just a minute, but what do you have coming up uh, this spring and summer? Uh, well, there's a couple of things I can't announce yet. It's always tricky when, when you have interviews in January, because it's <laughs> like, you know, if, if festivals haven't released their lineup, it's like, um, can I say that today? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I will be in CCMAs for sure. Awesome. And uh, we do have a couple of cool things coming to Alberta this year, some stuff with Medicine Hat couple of things in and around Edmonton and we are honing right in on Calgary for July of course too so um, it's going to be exciting we're going to this year's going to take us to BC and Alberta and Saskatchewan and actually probably a festival in Manitoba too and uh, maybe some stuff down south we'll take a look how the year unfolds but we are not stopping it's going to be a huge 2019 for us and it starts with this so thank you so much for the phone call you're technically the world premiere my friend yeah you know i found this the other day as we were talking on facebook there and i said we got to get you on man i really like this song and of course it's called i do tell us all about it yeah well it, it's it's a love song about a breakup <laughs> you know when i was when i was writing this song it sounds confusing because it it's called i do but really it's a testament to the relationships that you're in that, that you don't give up on each other. 
You know, I think it's easy for one side to get overwhelmed by a good thing and to pull the plug. And uh, I wrote it about my fiance primarily is a love song because of how much we've been through together and how much we believe in each other and support each other. So you, some people might listen to it as a breakup song, but I, but I want you to hear in it how not giving up on somebody can lead to a good thing. Right on. And, and this is really the uh, the debut on country radio uh, here in Canada. It is, man. Yeah. No, I super appreciate it. It's, it's not technically launching until next week, so I couldn't have a better buddy to uh, to do it with. Hey, my friend, anytime. I look forward to seeing you in Calgary soon, eh? You will indeed. I'm bringing you to me. All right on. Here's Brock Andrews. It's called I Do on CJWA.